Welcome back to SciRusher TV. Today, we're going to be showing you how to assemble your brand new XF690. Once your bike is fully assembled, check out some of our other quick tip videos to make sure that you're getting the most out of your brand new e-bike. Let's start by opening the box. Be careful when cutting open the box so as not to damage your bike or any of the components inside. For the purposes of demonstration, we will be cutting open an entire side of the box, but it's recommended to preserve the box. The box can be used to collect all packing materials and recycle them according to local regulations. Next, let's get the box out of the way and start cutting the tape and zip ties of the packing material. Again, be careful to avoid cutting any cables or scratching the bike. Inside the accessory box, you're going to find the quick release, the assembly tools, pedals, the manual, and extras. When shipped, the headset will be facing towards the rear. Use the multi-tool to loosen the two bolts of the headset and rotate the headset towards the front. Make sure it is in alignment with the front forks and re-tighten the two bolts. Next, remove the headset front plate in preparation for mounting the handlebars. Then, install the handlebars using the crosshairs as a guide to get a nice center mounting point. When reinstalling the headset bolts, remember to tighten them in an X pattern. This will ensure an even distribution across the front plate. Once the handlebars are installed, let's use the multi-tool to adjust the height of the stem. Loosen the bolt by turning counterclockwise. Once you have the headset at a height that is good for you, tighten up the bolt by turning it clockwise. After this step, double check that everything is tight and doesn't move. Next, let's grab the front release and install it through the front wheel. Remove the nut and one of the small springs. If the spring falls off the rod during this process, remember that the smaller side of the springs will be facing inward. Grab the front wheel and remove the protective covering. Install the quick release lever on the opposite side of the disc brake. Once it is through, place the small spring and nut back onto the rod, tightening it slightly. This can stay loose for now, as we'll need space for installing our front wheel. When installing the front wheel, you can ask a friend to hold the bike up, you can flip it over on the handlebars, or use a bike stand. For this demonstration, we'll be using a bike stand. The first thing we'll do is remove the dropout protector. Remember to remove the brake caliper shipping inserts. First, line up the disc brakes and the disc calipers, bringing the quick release up into the front fork notches. Hold the quick release lever and tighten the nut on the opposite side. We don't want this too loose or too tight, so it may take some back and forth to find the sweet spot. You should be able to close the lever with moderate force of one hand. Spin the wheel to confirm the wheel is lined up properly. Next, we'll grab the pedals and install them using the provided 15mm wrench. Please note that the pedals are labeled, one for the right and one for the left. Both pedals are reverse threaded, so they will tighten when turned towards the front wheel.
Next, we'll install the front light and front fender. First, remove the bolt that is pre-installed on the front forks. Use that to attach the front light and front fender. You can start by hand tightening and finish it off with the provided multi-tool. Next, we'll remove the pre-installed bolts from the fender bosses. Then we'll attach the fender support rods to the fender bosses. To turn on the display, hold down the middle button. You can use the up and down arrows to change levels of pedal assist. Pedal assist levels range from 0 to 5. Short pressing the middle button will cycle through your odometer, time of operation, errors, and trip distance. Once you've wrapped up your adventures and you're ready to turn the bike off, simply hold down the middle button until the display goes black. To turn on the lights, press and hold the up button. This will turn on your front LED headlight. To turn off the LED headlight, simply press and hold the up button again. Fold the XF690, first open the latch located on the down tube. Press the secondary safety latch forward, then pull open the folding latch. Using two hands, fold the bike in. You should be able to see the battery and the battery connection port on the opposite side. When the bike is folded, make sure the weight is not put on the pedals, but utilizes the integrated frame support. To remove the battery, insert the key and unlock the battery. Once the battery is unlocked, you can slide it out of the down tube. You can remove the battery for charging inside or you can charge it right there in the frame. To reinstall the battery, simply slide it up the down tube until it sits flush, then using the key, lock it into place. Watch the locking pin to make sure that the battery is locked into place. When folding the bike, make sure the safety latch is secure and the secondary safety pin is fallen into place. Thank you for watching the XF690 assembly video. And from all of us at Cy Rusher, we hope you have an amazing day.